Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little lesson on how to download fonts from a website and get them onto your computer so you can use them in des design space. So um, the website that I use the most is dafont.com. It's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And you will see that it is broken down. This is the navigation menu right here. It is broken down into all these different categories. So there are millions of fonts on here. Um, from basic to scripts to fancy to holiday. I mean, they have it all. So let's go, let's just go to decorative fancy. Let's see what's in here. And so let's, uh, we can type any text here. So we'll do love and then hit submit. And it will show you all the different font that you can download. I love this one. So I'm gonna download this. So you go over to the right to where it says download and you'll see right here, it says 100% free. So I click download, you'll see that it uh, goes into your download folder. If it's a PC, it'll be at the bottom right here. If it's a Mac, it'll be somewhere different. So you open it up by just clicking on it and it's gonna have a couple different files in it. You wanna choose either a true type font or an open type font, either one will work. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click and it's gonna bring up the, um, the window that has all, all the letters, which the quick brown box jumps over the dog or whatever it says. The reason why they do that is it has every single letter of the alphabet in it. There's your little trivia for today. Okay, useless information. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this button to say install. It's gonna give you a progress bar. All right, that was it. So now it's installed on our computer. So now what we have to do is go into design space and start to use it. Now, if you already had design space open, you will want to close it out and then open it up again because it won't show up if you've been in design space and something about it makes you have to close out and go back in. So I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to remember the name Earwig Factory. Okay, I'm going to do a new project and I'm just going to do, I love you. And then I'm going to go, sorry, I'm going a little fast. So once you have that clicked, you're going to go to your font toolbar right here and do a drop down, and then it'll have, oops. If you do the font drop down, they, these are all the fonts. They could be Cricut fonts. They could be fonts that you downloaded. It has them all mixed together. I like to go to the system font. And then I'm going to type in the name of the font. And there you go. Now you have your own font. And there are really thousands of them. So if you go on a font frenzy finding session, what I would do is I would close out uh, design space, download all your fonts, and then come back in and they'll all be there. Another tip is once you have all these fonts and you can't remember which ones look like which, this is the website that changes everything. It's called wordmark.it. And what this does is it will show you every font that you have loaded on your computer in your phrase. So we're gonna go back to the, I love you. Whoa. Click enter. 
and then you will see all these fonts are fonts that I have downloaded onto my computer. So you can choose what it looks best in. Um, this is an amazing tool, amazing resource. I use it daily. Um, when you're using this, if you find a couple that you like, you can just click on them. Click on a couple of them. Uh, let's do, I have thousands of fonts. Let's do these three. So once I have the ones selected that I want to compare, you go up to this top right corner where it says filter selected. And then it will show you those, your words and those fonts so you can choose. And if you're having a really hard time choosing, you can X out each one as you narrow them down. All right, I hope that helps.